Hey loves and welcome back to my channel. It's Ijoma here and this is our tutorial for today. This is an illustration actually and we are going to learn how to make this callope edge sleeve. So this is a sleeve but it has this callope design and it is an exaggerated sleeve. Now this sleeve is quite simple once you get the pattern right. The first thing that we are going to do is to draft a normal sleeve, like a normal street cut sleeve. So this is the paper that I will be using. Now, the length of this sleeve should be a three quarter length. So I made this 17 inches. So 17 inches is okay for three quarter. Then you will measure your round sleeve at that point. Like you will measure your round sleeve at the 17 inches. So around that 17 inches, I have 12 inches. And I divided it by two, that is six. Then I will mark my curve. I, I know how to draft my curve this way, just this way. Now, at the top, you can decide to take your bicep measurement and connect from that area to the full length of the sleeve. And remember that I took my actual measurement at the full length. I said I have 12. So if I divide it by 2, it is 6. Then I connected it to that particular measurement. Now, I will cut out. If you cut this out, you can choose to place it on another paper and then give it that scallop design. But I want to place mine on a fabric and give it the scallop design straight up. Like I don't want to draft on another paper before placing on my fabric. So this is my fabric. I will get it and I will fold. I told you guys that this is an illustration. So I'm using a lining for that illustration. Okay. Now I'll fold the lining. I'll get my pattern paper and then I'll place it on it. The next thing that I'm going to do is to give it that scallop design, okay? So now you go up first. You go up. Don't just allow it to slip. You give it a little puffy shape. So you go up and curve back to the full length of this sleeve or three inches above the full length. So you can see I stopped at three inches above the full length. Then I will start marking my scallop design. That first curve that I gave will give me this um balance to know where my curve should end at, to know where each scallop curve will end at. Then I can't use chalk on paper. I had to get my marker and using my marker, I completed the scallop. So you can see from that point, the other one stopped. I took it to the full length okay so now i'll go ahead and cut this out on paper so if you're making this type of sleeve it will be two pieces it is not a one piece sleeve it will be two pieces okay now i will start cutting out and you can see what i am doing right now so after cutting your scallop you may not really get that perfect curve that you want but when you are sewing on your sewing machine when you are joining you can correct this irregular curves using your sewing machine now at the other side of the sleeve i added one inch for allowance at the top of the sleeve i added half inch for seam allowance then remember to notch the center of this sleeve it is really important because that is where you are going to start closing from so now i know my center already not your center so that you know where to stop at when you are sewing it is really important then i took down my armhole curve and notched my center so that if i fix the sleeve around my armhole it will balance now if you are sewing with a lining you know you will turn this the full length of this sleeve with a lining you cannot just leave it like that so you cut out four pieces four pieces for each sleeve four pieces for each sleeve so you have like a total of eight pieces four for one sleeve four the, for the other sleeve so you add your hard comb your peplum stay you can just use peplum stay you can use crinoline net you can use any hard fabric or interface that will make this sleeve to stand so you cut four pieces so if you are turning it with a lining though i did not turn mine with a lining because it is an illustration you will cut four pieces for each sleeve so each piece you will turn each piece with the lining like you will turn each full length like each hemline with the lining the major place you should focus on is the hemline like the full length of that sleeve you will turn the down part of the full length with the lining so you will turn the full length only and leave it like that but for me i am not using a lining for my own i'm just cutting it out to show you guys that you need four pieces for each sleeve so now after cutting this out i will arrange them according to how i'm going to turn them so what you are going to do is that once you get one sleeve place this one and turn the full length only the scallop at the full length you know 
that scallop enter the full length you will turn the scallop only at the hemline of that sleeve and leave, and leave the rest of the sleeve like you iron it and leave the rest of the sleeve so you should add this hard interface to all the pieces of your sleeve okay now i'll go ahead and turn so i am done turning this particular one you can see my sewing i am done turning around it and i am cutting out the allowance as i'm cutting out the allowance i'm notching the pointy parts like you will notch all those v parts okay now after doing that i will go ahead and turn out what i have here this is just an illustration so i didn't hem the full length i didn't turn the full length with lining so i'll go ahead and turn it out take your time turn it out and then you go ahead and iron you know, ironing is really important after turning out you go ahead and iron it very very well then come back now one side of this sleeve is still open and that side that is open is the side seam you know the normal joining of a sleeve that is the only open side now okay and then the other part is the armhole part the place that will enter the armhole so i'll go and iron this and come back and show you guys now i am done ironing and this is what i have i'm trying to like trim so this place that i'm trimming now is the place that you are supposed to turn with a lining because it is the full length of this sleeve now i will fold this sleeve over i will fold it over and i will shape the side i will use one inch and shape the side so now i am done shaping the side with one inch and if i place it on my hand you can see what i have right there so that place that my hand came out from you should turn it with a lining now this is the armhole and you will go ahead and fix it around your armhole and that is it so at the end of the day you should have something like this this is just on my mannequin see you all in my next video i love you all bye do not forget to subscribe